Hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the VentureCraft survival server. This is episode 5. So today I was thinking of maybe moving along with the project that we ended up last time. And that was the design of the factory just behind those trees over there. So I'm just gonna pick up some things first and prepare myself for the project that we have ahead of ourselves. And I promised last time building some kind of pipes and ventilation system, so I think that's a good start. And in the second part of the episode, we might as well start with something that's been bothering me for uh, quite some time now. And that is the surrounding area that we have around here in the base. <sighs> this enchanting is killing me. Um, where we stopped with previous projects was design of this middle part of the base. And I was thinking of decorating it a little bit, giving this structure here in the middle a bit more purpose and decorating this uh, river and the area around it just a little bit so we can have a little shape around it so you guys that are watching my videos have some kind of a clue what this was supposed to be. So before we start with anything I would like to clear this area just a little bit flatten it so we have a nice flat area to work on. Hey guys, um, ha. I've started setting out the layout here, um, as you can see a lot of things happened so I'm just gonna explain uh, this real quick. This pillar here in the water, it's a marker and I'm gonna use it uh, later on to take this bridge from that point over there across the bridges like zigzag 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 all the way here and this is going to be a huge platform connecting with this factory that we've started the last episode um, and here as you can see I've mixed some uh, what is this oh stone brick okay so I've mixed a little bit of stone brick with the um, black concrete uh, and this is a wall this is a pillar this is a wall pillar and so on but these guys this one here and this one here they're gonna extend a little bit forward to hold that platform in the air and these walls are kind of retracted a little bit inside so we can have a nice variation in the color just like we can see it here at the front maybe i will mix a little bit of acacia wood in it but who knows we will see we'll see with the uh, with the progress um, so what is going on here you might ask and it's a very simple thing so this is the main feature of the uh, of the factory this is going to be a smelting pot a huge smelting pot and I don't want to place a lot of lava inside because that's gonna cause a lot of lag and especially since I need like a heck ton of buckets of the lava so it's kind of not economical in that way so I was actually thinking of maybe lowering this one more block, maybe maybe two blocks. Uh, so, because I'm going to use 
glass to get that um, get a watery feel like something's evaporating inside of this uh, big bucket and uh, it's just for the effect okay uh, just for the looks mm -hmm. so let's see let's see okay all of these outside ones have to go uh, uh, okay let's see now all right all right that's uh, one that's one block okay uh, now let's remove this uh, and this is the l layer for the uh, granite yes I've named this block properly for once um, okay let's remove this let's take you you're kidding me right I'm gonna drown here come on dude uh, pa -pa -pa. okay l randomly placing Okay, so this should be uh, all right. This should be the middle one. So this is a place where the uh, the only lava effect will drop. I'm gonna have like a big cauldron up in the air that's gonna spill lava, and it's gonna end up in this hole right there. So I want to start creating that effect of the boiling of the boiling liquids inside of this spot. Uh, and I'm gonna start with the white stained glass and I'm gonna shade it like gradually shade it and Hope that it turns out the way I planned So that's it for the white glass. You, you can see already the detail of the granite uh, mixing with this uh, White stained glass. It's really really giving out this certain color that I like a lot and gradually uh, Moving for no, don't kick me inside. Good. Now you're trapped. Now I can kill you. Yes. Okay. So where was I? All right. Let's remove this guy because I've misplaced it. Um, let's see. Okay, yellow. And the next color in the spectrum is orange. Okay. Let's put you in your place, just like that. Okay, 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 and the last one is red This should give a nice variety in color, but when you look straight down it should give that feel like Am I really I'm missing one <gasps> no! My plans are ruined. No worries. I'll, I'll just craft that one later. Maybe I have somewhere in stock this uh, uh, one block that I'm missing so I'm just gonna close this off by using the same texture of the stone brick just like that and do I have N no N okay then maybe I have it here somewhere all right uh, 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 uh. okay let's close this off just like that okay nice so um, this is not the the, the layer where we, I want to stop I just want to go one more up and give it that uh, 3d feel okay and this should be the final final detail for now I'm gonna decorate it a little bit on the out outer side um, I'm gonna try and place some pipes and something that will give this build uh, more detail uh, make more sense that this is some kind of pot that is holding something steamy or hot or whatnot I'm gonna place some devices or, around it uh, maybe some kind of uh, I don't know pipe that's gonna take the lava out and we can we can make it like uh, pouring lava into some kind of uh, lower chamber or something similar to that maybe maybe create another 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 pot with with this kind of uh, glass texture we'll see in the future uh, but for now I think I'm satisfied with how this looks I was thinking of maybe creating some kind of disposal here something like uh, toxic waste or spare parts or garbage cans or whatnot something like something like that uh, in, in this area but I will have to rearrange the flow 
of this water. So maybe by uh, digging through here, so all the way from that sand to this gravel. So I'm just going to slowly redirect this water flow so I can have a nice open area for, for the uh, backside of this factory. So far, so good. So I'll catch you guys in a second as soon as I place the layout for the future walls. Symmetry is all done. I don't know what to do about this uh, layout on the back. Uh, maybe I should extend it just to follow the symmetry approximately uh, of the front part. Or maybe place like uh, one chimney on this side and maybe like a back entrance on this side. I'm not sure what to do about that one. But first, before I get to building these walls, I have to build that bridge so I can see where the height is. And this is what I've done on this side. I've um, covered up the river flow and uh, redirected it on this side. And um, terraforming. Yeah. So this is what I've done so far. I I'm planning on redecorating it a little bit later using uh, maybe andesite, uh, gravel, maybe some cobblestone. Also planting some trees because I like to see trees ar around the river flow. Um, and this is too naked. For my taste so yeah a lot of a lot of tree placing uh, this is a problem I just noticed it before I press the record button so this is too proper it has to be a little bit off so maybe like cutting it uh, closer to the edge here on this side and also this thing is too geometrical and I have to change that shape as well and I have uh, this guy here disturbing okay so let's see maybe extend it like that do I have sand nine pieces okay let's pray this is enough uh, five one two three four and five okay that looks way better I think um, let's see what can I do with this thing here maybe cut it in a little bit with the uh, dirt uh, I need to enchant my boots to walk in the water uh, this is off now dude stop kicking me uh, okay let's see Okay, fill this, fill this. Mm, feels a little bit better. Maybe break it off here. Uh, maybe break it off a little bit here. Okay, now this looks much more acceptable. Well, I can tell you this looks promising. Um, a lot of details missing, but this looks promising. Maybe I should decorate this as well with the stone, just like I did on the other side. But for now, I think that this will do. And I have a waterfall here somewhere. <coughs> Give me that ink sack. Okay. Uh, it's probably somewhere here. Okay, let's see. here all fixed is it I think so yeah it's all fixed now this was a project that I was postponing as long as I could and hmm, I think it's time for me to finally build that build the bridge let's see one two three Okay, let's start with this guy here. And I want to go a little bit down. Not all the way down, but a little bit. Just like that. And as well, let's extend it by two. And then we'll place a dirt block 
to help us measure the third elevation of this bridge and this is the result we're gonna we're gonna get this little curve what's the point of all of this scaffolding if I keep falling down um, this small curve will happen and it will give a little bit of detail Mm, it's not gonna be straight as this one is maybe I'm thinking changing this one and making it into a curve just like I'm doing it with this one here so let's see and then one two one two and one two now the problem is this part of the bridge is centered as you can see it's right in the line with this here. The whole building is centered on this bridge, on this part of the bridge, right? But when we start walking, suddenly this tree is no longer in the center of this bridge, so it's kind of slightly off to the left side. Meaning, I will have to extend that part on, the, uh, on that side, and this part will have to go one block uh, wrong placement one block on the left and two blocks on the right if it doesn't make sense at this point just few more seconds and it will make perfect sense if I go on that side let's see I will probably have to hmm bring it down by one by one layer okay half a block half a block down just like that okay let's create it here and then this one will go another half block down like that so that's one two three and that means that the next one has to go up half a block. Uh, let's see if I can ooh, place it properly. And he is going to go one and the next one is going to be half a block higher connecting to this tree. Okay, let's go back up and continue work from the above. From the above, it looks a bit funky. I mean, um, it's extending sideways. So the difference uh, in the blocks is one. So we have one half slab, one half slab, one half slab, and the difference is one, 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 one. And the difference in is height in height is, I think, maybe too much but I've tried before connecting this distance with a flat bridge it's not looking <laughs> it's it looks like nothing I mean, I, mean you, you, I, can't, I can't even describe that it, it was like really really poor um, okay let's continue around wrapping this Woo, first aerial view in this episode I mean in this whole season uh, okay, let's land. Good. Now, um, pa -pa 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 -pa. this looks promising. Let's remove you. Uh, so, let's see if this will work. So, just... Oh, it's on the wrong elevation. Ooh. Now it's time for a little showcase. This thing is halfway done. I mean, the layout and everything is running smoothly in between these trees, just the way I pictured it. And, I mean, it's nothing complicating, but it works out perfectly, just the way I had planned. 
So let me see if I can take off here. No, I can't. It's a bit laggy here on the server. Every once in a while, you know, mobs are kind of glitching and I can't take off with using my rockets. So, you know, from time to time using s certain abilities are disabled. So, let's just eat here a little bit quick and see. So, I kind of closed off this side. And I was thinking of creating similar um, blocks of all the way over there, and hmm, I'm still I'm still thinking what to do with this upper part. Maybe I should extend this jungle to kind of just uh, get inside a little bit, like you know, like branch has pierced through, and some of the leaves are getting inside because this build, this rocky mountain will extend here on this side so we're gonna have like a cave system more like a tunnel on this side and here another one and on top of that i was thinking of creating some kind of oasis you know something like a pond or similar but let's get back to this one here so as you can see it's kind of slightly curved downwards and it goes back up again just before it meets with this tree so I'm kind of satisfied with how this looks. And then it goes sideways and meeting this tree, sideways again to this one, and then straight forward two times, going downwards and then back upwards. I think this elevation is slightly, slightly, um, yeah, yeah, it's a halfway block, uh, upwards in comparison to this side so maybe i should put some torches here to to prevent the the spawning of mobs also there's something going on with the spiders and creepers spawning somewhere up there so i have to go and check it out i'm gonna have to redesign this uh yeah all of this <laughs> uh anyway let's see i think here as well yes a few torches uh, I think this side is good, this side is half slabbed, which is good, this one is also half slabbed, good. Okay, now that we've taken care of that, um, we can go on. Now, this is the second part of this build. Yeah, I hope I hope you like it. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, it took me like uh, 40 minutes, 45 minutes to build all of this, I was falling down. I had to get back up, fall down, get it back up, and something like that. So, oh, I missed that one. Where are you? You little... Where is he? You shot me. Ah, you were hiding. That was weird. Okay. Uh, let's see. I know I'm gonna go up and down, up and down, fixing this, so might as well just do it properly. Uh, whew. It's on this level. And I have a bridge on this level. Hmm. I'm gonna have to extend it. It doesn't matter. It's on the sides. Uh, so left and right side will have slightly raised pillars, while front has this kind of weird looking stumpy pillar. Yes, that's, I, I think, I think that's it. Oh, you find your way up. And you just literally just spawn here. Dude, I don't have time to play with you. Maybe in some cutscenes. Uh, okay, so this is that level. And then I should have half slabs running like this. Wall structure here. And then half slab again. And then black concrete. Now let's see here. I'm going to have to tear this down, I guess. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, I'll make it work later. 
but at this moment I have to figure out where should I put the layout okay so that's that I'll have a wall with the entrance to this build and there we go that's it today guys it was good work I've done a lot this build is looking amazing more beautiful than I've hoped and soon I'll be able to plan all the details and everything else that will go inside and on the outside as well you know I don't I, I can't forget the for the outside but I'm gonna sign off right here exactly thank you guys for I <laughs> just I just screenshot myself. <laughs> Thank you guys for looking. Thank you you guys for seeing, leaving all the good feedbacks and everything. I hope you liked it. This is Rascal signing off. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.